In today's webinar, we will introduce the Ahaba Cancun University and its medical program, Medicine and Surgery, and give you the opportunity to find out more about the university and its program, which we are happily represented in Cyprus. The purpose of this webinar and the rest to follow is to introduce to you more study destinations so you can have more choices. We are happy to have with us tonight Dr. Jose Antonio, Deputy Director of the Division of Health Science of the University, um, who will be today's speaker, and also Paola Pagan, International Recruiter of the University, who will assist with the questions at the end of the presentation, together with Gabriel Gebalo, who is our International Counselor. Before we start, we want to give some instructions for the smooth running of the webinar. Right now, we have everyone on mute to avoid background noises that may distract you from listening to the webinar. You can enter your questions and comments in the question box throughout the presentation. Um, and then we will, at the end of the presentation, we will answer all your questions. I would also like to ask everyone to close their camera. Um, just to let you know as well that the presentation will run for approximately 45 minutes, after which we will open the question and answer uh, session. I will now ask our speaker, Dr. Jose Antonio, um, Deputy Director of the Division of Health Science, to start the uh, presentation. Uh, Dr. Uh, uh, Antonio, will you start or Paola will? Yeah. Right. Thank you very much for this opportunity to present uh, to you our university. Uh, greetings from Cancun in the Mexican Caribbean and good afternoon to, all, to you all. I would like to present uh, Paola Pagan, who is, uh, she's our international representative here at Cancun for the, our program of medicine and surgery. She will be starting our presentation and then I will follow uh, after she finishes. So, Paola, please. Perfect, thank you. Thank you, Dr. Rui. Yes, I am Paola Pagan. I am in, an international recruiter for Anahua Cancun University. Uh, I actually studied here in Anahua Cancun. I studied communications. So I also have the experience of how to be an Anahua student here in Cancun. It's a great experience actually. So let me share to you a little bit about Anahuac University and then we will talk about medicine and surgery, uh, which is our new international undergraduate uh, program of medicine. So let's start. First of all, I would like you to, I would like to present a small video of the university. So let's start. Um, let me check. Okay, perfect. There is something inside you that inspires you to get out and see the world and experience new adventures. You have that urge to learn about the world out there, to create a new chapter in your life story and enjoy another culture. You have that urge to savor the magic the world holds and lose yourself in its beauty. To find a place where legends combine with ancient heritage, smiles convey a passion for life and nature displays its immensity and awesome colors. That place is Cancun. With its beautiful beaches and impressive entrepreneurial development, which in the 50 years since its foundation has made it the ideal place to find yourself as an individual and develop yourself as a professional. Cancun is the number one tourism destination in Latin America connecting more than 25 million passengers per year through one of the most important airports in the world. The Riviera Maya has received many international awards from the tourism and entertainment industry. It is an ideal place for business, innovation, adventure tourism, and for caring for biodiversity and the This is a chief due to passion that is so much a part of people with conviction like you. The people who are dreamers, idealists, with social awareness, 
people who love their city. Forming principled men and women with a global vision is the mission of a network university Cancun. It is the international campus of a network of universities with a presence in America and Europe that has provided evaluated accredited academic excellence to more than 90,000 graduates. This international campus offers you 30 bachelor degree programs so you can specialize in the area you are most passionate about. You will be able to exchange ideas with students of 40 different nationalities and take part in an international educational experience around the world to study in other universities or participate in certain exchanges in more than 20 different countries. This is a place that prepares your body, mind and soul to transform the world into the one you would like to see. Where you can develop your human potential through sports, social commitment, leadership programs, and spiritual growth. The university where you can be someone while still being you. We are an network, great leaders and better persons. Anahuac University, the International University of Cancun. located in Cancun, Mexico. Um, I'm going to talk about Cancun as a touristic de destination. We are the first place nationwide in job generations. We have more than 25 million visitors each year. We are the number one touristic destination in all Latin America. We have more than 100,000 hotel rooms in the state and we are also the number one in cruise, in cruise ships reception worldwide. Anahuac University is one of the top uh, three private universities in Mexico, and we are also among the 2% of the best universities in the world. We are a network of university. This means we have other campuses in Mexico. We have in Cancun, in Mexico City, in Tampico, in Merida, in Jalapa, in Oaxaca, in Puebla, and in Querétaro as well. But medicine and surgery is only offered here in Campus Cancun. We also have some uh, universities we have in the United States, in Chile, in Spain, and also two universities in Italy. Uh, but I recall, I, do, I, I say it again, medicine and surgery is only offered here in Campus Cancun. We also have the Anahuac identity, which is based in our 2025, mo uh, 2025 model. Uh, we want our students not only to focus on their academic development, but also in their human development. That's why we have the professional studies block, the Anahuac studies block, the interdisciplinary studies block, and also the integral development. We form positive leader action leaders. We are the most international university in the Anahuac network. Uh, students and teachers from more than 40, home, uh, 40 countries. We, are, um, we have a multicultural environment. We have 80% of international students, not only from Latin America, but also from uh, United States, from Canada, from Europe. We have students from Africa, from Japan, etc. We have uh, students from all, all over the world. Uh, we have a wide academic offer, and we also have six degrees. Uh, which are completely in English, 38 degrees, which are offered completely in Spanish, but these six degrees that are completely in English are especially uh, for our international students that don't speak Spanish, for example, or even though if someone speaks Spanish and wants to uh, have a degree completely in English, they can take that one too. Uh, and our costs are really competitive, very accessible too. We are an international university. Why? Because we have internships with the best national and international companies. Uh, our national and international are accreditations, international agreements as well, and our teachers are interna international too. We also have the International Student Support Center. Uh, what does this department do? This department was created to help and support our foreign students, our international students, not only when they arrive to Cancun, 
but also during their, their whole degree and stay here in Cancun. We give them advice with their accommodation, like where to live, uh, tutoring, information to live in Cancun, and their migratory process because they need to come here to Cancun uh, with a study visa. So they are not alone during the process, during their admission process or migratory process. We help them to do all the, these things so they can have this international experience. We also have ex exchanges and internships. Um, our students can uh, go abroad to do an exchange or an internship, not only with the Anahuac network here in Mexico and worldwide, uh, but they can go wherever they want to go, really. Depends, obviously, in their degree. Uh, Dr. Rui will tell you a little bit about where they, can they go with medicine and surgery, for example. Um, but we have uh, really wide options of exchanges and internships. Now I'm going to present to you our academic offer. We have uh, 38 degrees offered completely in Spanish. If you wish to, um, to enter one of these degrees completely in Spanish, you can do so. You only need a B2 level of Spanish, obviously. Uh, but if not, if you want to continue your studies completely in English, we also have our degrees that are completely in English, which are business administration, entertainment business management, gastronomy, international business, international hotel management, and medicine and surgery. Okay, gastronomy and international hotel management. Uh, as you can see here, there is the logo of Le Cordon Bleu from Paris. Why? Uh, you can have the double degree of Anahua Cancun and Le Cordon Bleu of Paris uh, if you study gastronomy or international hotel management. Also, if you wish to study business administration or international business, you have the option to get a double degree as well with Coventry University from London. So that's why we have these uh, bachelor degrees offered in English for our international students who wants to continue their studies in English or doesn't know how to speak Spanish, for example, and have their international experience here in Cancun. We also have scholarships and in educational credits. We have the academic scholarship, the artistic and cultural scholarship, the sport scholarship, and the study credit. Uh, we want the same opportunities for our international students, uh, such as the Mexican studies. It's, it's the same for Mexican students as international students. There is no difference. The only thing you need uh, to have for you to get an academic scholarship in this case would be a GPA of 8.5 of 10. Here in Mexico, our GPA is 1 to 10. We can validate the GPA you have in your country. That's no problem. Um, but yeah, you can have access to these scholarships. It doesn't matter your international students. Uh, we want you to have the, the whole support you need if you want to have this international experience. And we also have the student credit, which is like a loan from the university, if the academic scholarship is really not enough, uh, because we want you to have this experience. So yeah, uh, now we, we want to pass to the important part of the presentation, actually. We're going to present now medicine and surgery. I'm going to pass uh, the word to Dr. Rui. Uh, medicine and surgery is our new brand new program and it's really popular here in Cancun because we already have it in Spanish and now we're going to offer it completely in English, especially for our international students. So, uh, Dr. Rui, you have the word now. Thank you very much, Paola. Well, we, we continue with our presentation. First of all, I would like to talk to you about a little bit about what is medicine and surgery. Uh, you already see the context in, where, in which Anahuac Cancun is, uh, is setting. And in that context is that we wish to offer this program, this degree program in medicine uh, to the international community. The degree program of medicine started in 1975 in Mexico City, but it was only uh, taught in, in, in English, in Spanish, sorry. And then we are, we are trying to start this project to make it in English. So it's a, it's a well-accredited program, a medicine program, a medical program, with all the recognitions, all the accreditation, national and international. And for the first time, Anagua Cancun is offering it in English. It's an international undergraduate program of, uh, in medicine. It's unique in the region 
there is no other university in this region or at least in the country that uh, is offering a program like ours. It's offered by the International School of Medicine that belongs to the Division of Health Sciences of Anagua Cancun. And it's uh, designed to those students who wish to study medicine and they wish to do it uh, abroad. They, they, they don't wish to stay maybe in their countries, but, on, but to know other countries and start a, a profession in another country. So it's uh, dedicated to those students that wish to study medicine abroad and subsequently complete a medical specialty in the United States of America or elsewhere, but mainly in the United States of America. And they wish to uh, get a medical license to practice medicine in the United States. Medicine and surgery, as you see, is an international degree. It's studied from a humanistic and scientific perspectives with all the Anahuac model and all the other profile. It's a program focused on medical global changes <clears throat> with high ethical sense and respect for human life, which are the main values that has an hour can cool. Next slide, please. please. Uh, it's a core curriculum that will uh, integrate uh, global health into and prepares you to be a proactive leader in the world of medicine. We wish to form uh, positive action leaders in medicine in a global setting. It's a unique, outstanding international opportunity that uh, prepares you for the USMLE examination. As you may know, this USMLE examination is a, a, an exam that all international students or all international medical graduates that wish to start a specialty and to practice medicine in the United States must pass. It's an academic opportunity of also to become a medical specialist in the USA or wherever you want to go. It's academic, an academic formation focused on ethics, humanism, and professional integrity. You will develop uh, moral skills and values that will shape you into a remarkable international profession, professional of medicine in this uh, global world. Next slide, please. What are the um, main competencies that you will be acquiring during the, your years of studying medicine with us? First of all, the medical knowledge. It's a vanguardistic uh, medical knowledge, soft skills and hard skills that will allow you to assume a development of your medical activity. That is what will help you to become a good doctor, an ethical doctor and an hour doctor. Also, the program will uh, make you competent to be able to lead health programs and services in various areas. Carries uh, out health research projects and for an effective use of health technology. You could also uh, get some competencies to be a staff trainer and an active leader in health promotion, disease prevention, treatment, and rehabilitation. So these are some of the competencies that uh, our program has to offer. Next. These are all the accreditations and certification that uh, the program has. It's uh, very important that when you are looking for a university, mainly an international university, and especially a medical program, this program has to be uh, accredited and certified in quality. So for example, in Sotros, uh, here in uh, Mexico, we are accredited by the Mexican Board for Medical Accreditation or Medical Education and the World Federation for Medical Education. This is the main accreditation that the program has. It also has uh, an accreditation by the ECFMG. This is, this is a sponsor's note. It's very important so our students could go to the United States to practice medicine and to become specialists. This is the ESFMG accomplished for uh, Educational Commission for foreign, foreign Medical Graduates. We also listed in the World Directory of Medical Schools. So if you want to type it in the internet, you can find us in, the, in this World Directory of Medical Schools. You type Cancun without, without the accent, just Cancun, C-A-N-C-U-N, -C and then it will appear as our school. Then you will find more about our program. And uh, also you can find there the sponsors now that facilitate us to send our students to the United States. We are a member of our Latin American and Caribbean Association of Faculties and Schools of Medicine, a member of the Mexican Association of Medical Schools. So our program is well accredited. Every five years, we have to uh, renew this accreditation. So uh, we are in constantly search for the quality or for the education quality in medicine. Next, please. This is a, a little chart 
that show you what is the, uh, the path a student with us has to walk in order to gain to gain American license in the United States. First of all, you will have to study basic sciences. These are the first two years of the uh, program. At the, at the end of these uh, two years, you have to, pre to present USMLE step one. This is a test about basic sciences in medicine. You must pass this examination in order to uh, advance to clinical sciences. In these clinical sciences, there are the next two years of the program is where you will be trained as a clinician. You will receive a clinical training in very, uh, in very, uh, in much hospitals in here in Mexico, in the United States, or even in Europe. We have many uh, appointments with uh, hospitals, hospitals in Mexico and in the USA and Spain, for example, Germany, etc. After you complete your medical training in these two years, you will have to pass the step two examination of USMLE. This is a clinical test. So if you pass this clinical test, you can advance to the fifth year, that is a practical year done in hospitals where you will continue your medical training. This is for one year. Then when you finish your internship, you have to uh, make this social service. This is another year one. It's uh, also a practical year but it's a non-supervised practical uh, practice. So you are now a doctor, but uh, Mexican laws establish that in order to receive your license and your degree, you must, this, you must uh, do this uh, social service for one year. Then after you uh, finish your social service uh, here at Cancun or wherever you want, then you have uh, your graduation and you receive your medical degree from Managua Cancun and a license to practice medicine in, in Mexico if you wish to do so. With these uh, documents and the USMLE accredited in step one and step two, you will gain the ESFMG certifications in the United States. And then you are ready to start a matching program to enter a residence program in the United in the US. There are some residence programs that will last at least for four years, for five years. There are many different programs in the US to, to become a specialist. After you finish your residence program or you are in the last year of your residence program, you can apply for USMLE Step 3. If you pass this USMLE Step you will get the medical license in the US and you can practice medicine in, in that state. Remember that in the US, licenses or medical licenses are from state from, from one state to another state. There are no federal licenses. So if you want, to, if you finish, for example, your residency in California and you wish to practice medicine in Washington, you must uh, be uh, licensed in Washington to, to, in order to practice medicine. Next slide, please. So uh, the requirements for admission to our program as uh, first pass the admission examination, then we have a pre-medical course. Another, rec another requirement is that you will have, uh, you must have B2 level of open intermediate or advanced in English. For example, the IELTS, IELTS TOEFL, Cambridge, etc. in order to demonstrate uh, your level of English. If you don't speak, uh, if you don't speak Spanish, then you will be, uh, you will have the opportunity to take Spanish courses in order, for example, to have your clinical training in Spanish here in Mexico or in Spain. And you must complete the B2 level in Spanish during your career in order to, uh, to go to these hospitals in Mexico or for example, in Spain. Next slide, please. What is a pre-medical course? This course will uh, facilitate you the acquisition of optimal competencies that would help you to initiate your international medicines and surgery program. No, it's all, it's a, a five year, a five weeks online course in English. It's about, it's about 120 hours and you will have uh, some knowledge about anatomy, physiology, <clears throat> basic biology for medicine, chemistry, maths, <clears throat> medical etymology, study techniques, and an AWAC doctor in order that you will know our mission, our vision, and you know more about uh, an AWAC curriculum. So this is a pre-medical course that you must have to pass in order to be admitted to an AWA Cancun and a medicine and surgery program. Next slide, please. So we hope to see you at Cancun. 
We hope to see you here at Anahua Cancun, and we are open for all your questions. Thank you very much, Paola. Thank you very much, Despo, and all of you. Great, thank you very much for the wonderful presentation. And uh, now uh, we can move on to the question and answer session. I would kindly like to ask Paola and maybe Gabriel uh, to see if there is any question in the box or uh, anybody would like to uh, ask something, please you can do that by uh, unmute yourself and do your question, thank you. Okay, I, I can see in the chat that we don't have any question. Gabriel, Paola? Yeah, I, I don't see any questions, but if anyone would like to ask a question directly, please feel free to do it. It seems that um, Dr. Jose and Paola cover everything, so there is not uh, any question, with that, which this is uh, good. I apologize. I have a question. I'm Please sorry. <laughs> okay, for, about the scholarships, does it cover only the lessons or also um, the place where you live? No, it covers only the university. Yeah, the cost of the okay. university. All right, thank you. I think, Paola, that it would be a uh, very informative for uh, the assistance that you could share us with uh, the tuition piece that has a university for the program and all the ex examinations, etc. And oh, maybe, okay. I don't know, Desco, uh, you can share with the assistance the, our flyer, no, our booklet about the program so they could uh, learn more about it. Of course, uh, whoever is attending, um, we will be able to send, or we can share now, Paula, maybe we can share here now on the chat. Yeah, the yeah I actually have the, um, the cost of the medicine and surgery program. If you wish to, to see it, I can share my screen. Um, and I can also send to you the brochure if you have any uh, people interested in medicine and surgery, you can actually leave your information in the chat and we will contact you and send all the information to you as well. So let me share my screen again. Great. Okay, these are the fees of medicine and surgery. We have it in Mexican peso, in US dollar, in euro and pound sterling. I don't know which one is more uh, easy for you in Cyprus. Uh, but uh, we use a lot of US dollar, for example. Um, here in Mexico, we manage uh, semesters. We have two semesters in one year. And we, in each semester, we have an initial payment and the tuition of the semester. Uh, for example, the, the reference study plan of medicine and surgery uh, depends the cost of how many credits they have in that semester. And that would be the tuition uh, per semester. These are all calculated as the student would have 42 credits per semester. So we will, if you wish, if you are really interested in medicine and surgery, you can leave your information in the chat and we can even organize a, a personal meeting if you wish and explain to you more detail how the reference plan works, how the assignment works and how our cost will be related to those plans. So yeah, um, these are the tuition fees, the initial payment would be a hundred and twenty some dollars, which is the like the first payment of each semester. And then the whole semester would be three thousand and one hundred and fifty dollars. But as I already told you, it depends on the credits that the students uh, have that semester. So yeah, here in Mexico, I know in Europe, it's kind of different because you pay the whole semester in one payment. So here in Mexico, we have uh, that total of the payment divided in five payments, but if you wish to pay the whole semester together, you can do it as well, so don't worry about that. And yeah, uh, let me see, uh, here is the pre-med, for example. 
the cost of the pre-med that Dr. Rui was uh, talking to you about is cost is $402. That's one payment only. You pay for the, for the pre-med. You do the pre-med and then if you get a, accepted to the university to medicine and surgery, now you can do the initial payment, which is the one I already show you right here, the $827. And now you have already your spot in medicine and surgery with us. Um, we also have, for example, the USMLE examination costs. And as, as I already told you, you can leave us your information here in the chat and we can send this brochure to you so you can have it with you as well. Yeah, another cost, for example, we have the major medical insurance, which is uh, mandatory for all our students to have them, for example. And actually right here, um, you can calculate your payments because, as I already told you, the payments depends, the cost of the semester depends on the credits that the student have that semester. Uh, yeah, so if you have any questions about this, please tell me, leave it in the chat, you can speak up, don't worry about that. Thank you very much, Paola, for, for this information. I don't know, is there still a, any other question? that we could uh, gladly ans answer. Paula, I think there is a question in the box if you want to read it. Um, I, I have it empty. Um... Okay, um, there is a question here saying, uh, knowing a student who would like to study medicine at a high level and also an athlete, is there combined scholarship opportunities which you, you had uh, shown and also what level are the sport facilities and levels? Okay, um, you can only choose one scholarship. You can have both, for example. We, we actually tell the international students it's better for you to have the academic scholarship because this brings more opportuni opportunity for you guys. Uh, but for example, for the sports scholarships, it's a little bit difficult. It depends on the sport that you practice. You do need to have like a really good curriculum. Like for example, if you practice, I don't know, um, football, football, soccer, which is a really famous sport here in Mexico, you need to have like a really important curriculum. And the, they evaluate that curriculum and they tell you if they accept that sports scholarship or they give you the academic scholarships. It really depends on which uh, sport do you want. Uh, but yeah, and for example, this, the sports scholarships is a little bit more difficult for international students because they are rules here in Mexico of each sport. So that's why I tell you that it depends on the sports uh, you are interested in, yeah. But I will suggest you to go for the academic scholarships, yeah. That's the best one, actually. Thank you, Paula. Uh, can I ask another question? Yeah, yeah, sure, uh, go ahead. Thank you. Um, so what, what do you mean by the curriculum? Do you mean like their CV, yeah, the previous? Uh, yeah, like uh, the events you've been, the, uh, for example, for example, if you're seeing like for a cultural uh, scholarship, if you sing, you need to, uh, have been to a special concert, uh, recognized not only uh, in the country, but internationally too, for example. Two children, my son. Hello. Yeah? Yeah. So on, on what, what sports do you have this? You, you mentioned soccer. Do you have um, athletics? And, so it's, and, and, and does that combine with the med medicine program or does that sort of inflict with their studying? Oh, okay, or, or so they... the scholarships are actually apart from the degree you'd select. For example, if you want athletics in this case, um, you can have that scholarship, obviously have to pass of the evaluation of the scholarship department but it doesn't mm -hmm. affect anything of the degree. You can study whatever degree you want and select the scholarship you want. And, the, and as I already told you, the scholarship uh, department evaluate which scholarship is the best one for you. Okay, so they can go 
that's that's great. So they can go on an academic scholarship and still have their still if they're playing at a high level, still sort of from the interest of the coach, if they're interested, play for the school team or the sort of the university team. Yeah, and yeah. also uh, it's important for you to know that of the GPA that I told you in mm -hmm. the presentation. The GPA here in Mexico is one to ten. I'm not sure um, in your country what's the GPA, but we can do the validation. Yeah. That's no problem. But you need to have 8.5 of 10 for you to get a scholarship, uh, an academic scholarship. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Um, do we have any other questions? Yeah, in the box we have from Chris. Okay. These are very competitive compared to other destinations to study medicine. The UK is about 500 years per year. How can you maintain an academic program medicine with such low fees in the course of subside by the government in Mexico? Dr. Rui, I don't know if you want to answer this question. Is more related to medicine and surgery? No, we have not uh, any, any kind of subsidized uh, support from the Mexican government. We, uh, we always wish to offer competitive programs, you know, mainly uh, because uh, it's one of our uh, mission, it's part of our mission to be, to have the social responsibility to offer all the students, uh, uh, not low cost, but very competitive uh, costs. Costs in Mexico, in Mexico for education are very different from other parts of the country, of the, of the world, sorry. So uh, this is what makes Mexico very attractive for international students because here all private universities have very competitive costs, but within the private universities, Anahuac is always looking to be a little bit lower than the rest of their uh, universities because this kind of social responsibility that we have. Most of these, uh, you could call it a subsidiary support, comes from the uh, Anahuac network, so you can offer uh, competitive uh, costs, you see. But uh, if, you, if you look for another degree programs, Mexico will be always cheaper than other universities, for example, in the United States and the UK, or even Spain, Germany, etc. You must know that, for example, in Europe, education is subsidized by the government. Even private uh, universities are subsidized by the government. So they could offer uh, a little bit uh, lower costs, but in Mexico, we don't have that kind of support. Only uh, public universities will receive support from the government, not private. Okay, thank you very much. Um, do we have any other questions? If not, we are coming at the end of our webinar. So I would like on behalf of Global Educational Services, I would like to express our thanks to our speaker, Dr. Jose Antonio, as well as Paul Began and Gabriel Guevallo for helping to organize the webinar. Also a big thank to everyone that joined today. We hope you found the webinar useful. For any information for applying to Ahaba Kangu University, you can call the Global Education Services at 2278-0250 and 2278-5022. Our offices are in Engomi, Nicosia, and we would love to have an individual meeting with all of you that are attending tonight. Uh, please check regularly our website uh, and Facebook page for new upcoming webinars. Wishing you all to have a lovely evening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you Bye. to you all. Thank you, Despot. Thank you, Gabriel. Thank you.